our world collapsed when genocide happened. It was like everything died with it. As a, someone of Tutsi origin, I was always, I felt I was second class, you know, in the, the governments we grew up in. There was a quota system determining how many could go to school, and I think during my time it was 1% of Tutsis. Uh, people couldn't work in the government, in the military. So all those stuff were there when I was growing up. You know, we lost our parents, we lost all the friends, we lost, uh, really, it's like uh, we lost trust in the country, in the so-called the country, because when someone, a leader, can call on a million people to be killed by other people, uh, you can't even say this is a country I, I, I wanted to affiliate myself with. You would rather that uh, like a tsunami comes and kill all your people. You can still recover psychologically. But when it's someone killing them, there's something that is, I think, our humanity is kind of, it starts to question itself. It's something that shapes your life. You know, it has shaped our lives that um, since that moment, I don't think that I have done anything, even though we had the families, that was not to guild towards uh, uh, helping in any way I can so we can move forward.